guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rosanna so in today's video I'm gonna do a full face of old makeup I'm a little nervous so that is what we're gonna be doing today but before we get into that video I would love 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 for you to subscribe to my channel you could ring the bell it will give you notifications of when I post which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between 1 and 2 ish so yep yeah, like make comments tell your friends subscribe help a newbie out I would so, so appreciate your support and thank you so so much for helping me grow this channel and now without further ado let's get started all right, cool. I saw some influencers a while back do this and I was like, okay, the first thing I thought of, yes ma'am, was The Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the first makeup, like when I first started to get like super serious in my adultish age about makeup, that my kids bought this for me for Christmas 5,000 years ago. I love this palette. I love it. So anyway, so that's what made me think about it. I'm thinking, I'm a little nervous because, you know, Tati just did a whole declutter because she had a sty in her eye and blah, blah, blah. But, um, yeah, we're going to dive in anyway. Anyway, oh, my God, I'm so nervous. So let me just put some tape rooney on my eyes. I feel so good sitting here. I was actually away. Um, I went to Vegas for a couple days. I will have that video. I did do some vlogging. It'll probably be, like, my first and ever vlogging. So we just got back last night. I'm so tired. Not only are they three hours behind but as I'm sitting down today is Sunday. I don't remember the day, 12, 13, 14, who the hell remembers? And uh, we had to change our clocks spring ahead. So that's four hours of like, you thought that you were gonna be napping, but you're really not and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm like super tired. But anyway, it's okay. I am so, so glad to be here. Let's dive in. Like I said, I love this palette. I haven't touched it in years. I remember some kind of, um, something was going around about like, they had questions like, what's, what is your favorite palette? What is your longest palette? Or what is like, you know, a palette that brings back memories and stuff. And this one was one of them. Cause yes, I remember distinctly, look at that. I've never hit pan like on an eyeshadow palette before. I used to love this palette. But anyway, going in over here with this light shade, you know, light to dark, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, so I love this palette. I can't remember the last time I touched it. Let's pray to God that um, it's a little bit shimmery. You see that? It's a little bit shimmery. Let's pray to God that nothing earth-shattering happens to my face. Wait till you see the uh, foundation. My daughter just said, Mom, I don't think you should be using this. You're right, girl. But that's the whole point of the video. Yeah, this is very shimmery. Who would have thunked at it back then? That's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. But anyway, Vegas was so much fun. Um, I was hoping to run into like um, Samantha and Risa and Michelle. No such luck. But I did go to the Sephora. I did pick up some products. Girl, you don't need anything. But I did pick up some products. And um, let's see. I think I'm going to go in with this color right over here. Um, it was so fun. We were there like maybe four days girl i felt like i was there a month all we did was eat i'm like so friggin full i did uh start doing intermittent fasting about two weeks now girl right out the window we had reservations 7 30 8 45 9 o'clock i'm like <sighs> all right like so much so that our last dinner reservations for the week we canceled them because i was like i just can't do it Okay, this is a little bit too warm for my liking, but you know, it is what it is. So, what I think I'm going to do, because girl, we have a lot. I'm going to just speed up this process right now so we can move on to other products. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? Still a great palette. Still a great, great palette. Ooh, that is so nice. Of course, there's a lot of fallout, so be careful. I have a lot of fallout, but I don't care. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Just gonna wipe this off. P.S. I do have on all my face, you know, moisturizer and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna just wipe this off. There you go. We're gonna, you know, of course, soften that up as we move along. Ooh, that is so pretty though, isn't it? 
love this palette still have so many great great memories about this palette every time i look at it i'm like mm, mm -hmm. girl now you know i'm not a primary kind of girl you, do you see the dust on this can you see that i've had oh my word this is the tarte timeless smoothing primer let me see does it smell i mean it doesn't smell it does have a couple cracks in it I haven't touched this. It's got to be at least, I don't know. Oh, shish, kabibble. Two, three years, three years, three plus years. Let's do it. I'm going in. I'm going in. Listen, I've been out of work all week. I can't have a breakout. I have to go to work tomorrow morning. But this, damn, it still looks so good though, doesn't it? I love this. Look how good that looks. Wow, I haven't touched it in forever. Oh, that looks so good. I'm going to just go in um, with my concealer. This is from Pixi. I, I can't even remember the last time. It's got to be at least a year or two-ish. Okay, it smells like nothing. Does that mean it's still good? I'm going to just, just put on a little bit. This is a concealer, right? I have no friggin' idea. Yeah, yep. It's a little, it's a little dark for my liking. Maybe that's why I haven't picked it up in forever, right? So I'm going to just use my fingers here. Yeah, like look, I mean, okay. It looks almost yellow, right? Hmm. Well, it is what it is. This is what we're doing. Girl, well, let me just tell you what I'm so scared about. So... This is the Estee Lauder Future, Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum 45. Do you see like what, you see like all this is like discolored? Can you see that? I don't know if you could see that. I'm going to show you a picture like of what I'm looking at. Because I don't know if it, it, I don't know if you could see it on camera. Let's see if I could, this has been, I've had this for years you try and mix it up oh geez so that's what it looks like i'm gonna remove that pump maybe because it wasn't mixed enough why why i gotta do these things why okay there it is right there it's very watery i don't remember it being this watery let's just go in girl let's just go in leave me some comments down below of what is your oldest product and do you still use it? Do you still use it? And why are we holding on to it? Okay, this smells like vinegar. <laughs> this smells like vinegar. Listen, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to wash this right the hell off when I'm done. Because I'm getting a little nervous. I mean, it doesn't look bad though, right? It's very cakey on my chin. But I will tell you this. Even though I was just in... Um, Las Vegas for like four days, four or five days. It was so dry. My skin was so dry. I couldn't stop drinking. I was so friggin' thirsty. Um, I couldn't stop friggin' drinking. It, my skin was so dehydrated and I st still use the same like moisturizers and everything. But immediately I was like, damn. So I do have some dry patches. Like I could see like the foundation. P.S. It could be that it's old and it's disgusting and it smells like vinegar and it's disgusting and it's old. But it's grabbing right over here and right over here. And it's and it smells like vinegar. Okay. Uh-huh. This next product, I love it. This is the Tarte. I'm going to lower my light a little bit or maybe I should just move back. This is the Tarte. This is the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer that I love. But girl, can I tell you the truth? Mm -hmm. It smells a little rancid. I love it though. I so, so love it. And I'm not going to lie. I want to say that Tarte is doing away with this line. I think. Don't quote me. But I'm going to keep it. Even though it smells rancid, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to just use this. I think it's so friggin' pretty. I mean, look how pretty it is though. Darn it. You smell. Yeah. why look how pretty darn it all to hell doing this challenge 
makes me even more eager to use like products that I have. Like for an example, as I'm looking at this girl, I have the Chanel um, bronzer. If I used it a handful of times, that's a lot. I don't know why I don't grab for it, but I'm going to start because I definitely do not want to. I'm going to go here, girl, you know. I always forget to blend, blend, blend. But, okay, I feel like I look very orange in the monitor. I don't know. But damn, it looks so pretty, right? Damn, that is so nice, but it smells. I'm not going to lie. Don't lie to the people. Don't lie. Now, here's the thing. Do you remember this Wet n Wild? This is the Wet n Wild with the uh, Melody and Karomi collection. I thought it was so, so pretty. I can't stand the smell. However long when this came out, it's really, really pretty. Like this highlighter, can you see that? Let me just, let me just show it to you. It's so pretty. It's, it's got like a peachy, pinky gold kind of shift. It's so pretty. You know, might as well do all of them. And then this is the pink one. This is the pink highlighter. Look how beautiful. Isn't that nice? And then these are the two blushes. I mean, they're really nice. It smells so, I, I don't like, you know, I don't like fragrance in my uh, makeup. It smells so strong. And I don't remember how long I've had it. It's got to be years. I also have this Clinique Chubby Stick Cheek Color Balm. Okay, that's okay-ish, but this is older than that. This has to be, it is pretty though. This has to be, I don't know, like maybe four years. Let's do this one. <sighs> Let's do it. I'm going to take this brush right over here. This is the refer. That's my boyfriend. This is the refer number four. I'm going to just warm this up on the back of my hand. Okay, that's kind of pretty. That is kind of pretty. I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go this way to get more product on here. Somebody must be close. A leaf must be close to my house because a leaf is going to kill us. That's really friggin' pretty, though. Hmm. That's beautiful. And it doesn't smell. So can I still use it? You think I could still use it? This is so friggin' old. Yeah. Are we okay with that? This is really nice. This is so, so nice. You know, girl, I'll have everything linked below. Hopefully, if things are still there. I hope girl this is the pixie brow gel this is the pixie pencil and gel you know i'm not an eyebrowy kind of girl but i want to say i've had this about two years now maybe less i'm not sure but anyways this is the tip i don't even know if it works it's got like that i don't know if you could see that but it's got like that white cast on it that's okay this doesn't even work anymore I'm pressing super hard. What are we going to do? Okay, I'm pressing super hard just to get it started. Let's see if it works. Let's see. Is it working? Yeah, it is working, but I just want you to know between me, you, and the four walls, I'm pressing hard. I'm pressing hard. Okay, but I do like the tip, though. I like the tip, and I'm liking the color now that it's coming out, right? I like it. Okay. Okay, it's nice. I like it. There's no um, spoolie, so I'm going to just take what I have here and just spool rooney these eyebrows into place. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That's not bad. That is not bad. So I guess we can put this gel on. It smells like nail polish. It smells like friggin' nail polish. Is it supposed to smell like that? I don't know. I don't know. That's how long I've had these products. I don't know. But I like it. I really, really like it. Okay. Let's carry on, shall we? Um, yeah, so the highlighter. This is the Becca. I love the Becca. This is the Champagne Pop. Love. I want to say this is probably one of my first highlighters that I ever bought myself. And I wanted to use these, but if we're going to be talking about like my oldest product, I think it has to be this one. So let's go in with this one. And this 
I still use I still use it I don't like to use it on camera because of course you cannot get it although I gotta tell you I think I saw some colors I want to say maybe on Amazon I could be wrong but I have seen it maybe in like department stores look how pretty that is wow still beautiful I'm not lying I'm still gonna keep this I'm still gonna use it I don't care I'm gonna have to rummage for some powder because I have to set my under eyes right but anyway let's move on shall we let's do eyeliner I'm scared see it's the eyes that I get nervous about I have this Lorac front of the line pro pencil in black first of all you know I don't even wear black so here it is I can't remember the last time I've put this on or how long it's been here it smells like nothing okay there's here's another one that doesn't work from 1912 You know what um, I'm not gonna put this in my eye I'm gonna just go off camera and just put it like above my eye because I need like a mirror and I can't do it like well let's try it let's try I really love this eyeshadow though right it's so pretty let's see what I can do yeah I'm gonna have to say that this is a bust this is how old this is I'm trying to work warm it up on my hand over here Yeah, it's not even budging. That's how old this is. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to have to say nay to the eyeliner today because this is not even working, and I guess I'll have to throw it away. Bummer. Well, it is what it is. What can I do? You know what I'm going to do? Let me go back in and take this really tiny brush from BK Beauty. This is the 208, and I'm going to take the darkest color in the Renaissance, this Cypress Umber over here, and I'm going to just at least put a little bit of something something on my upper lid okay that's not bad right you know what let me step off camera and grab like a powder to set my under eyes because I really want to finish off my under eyes so I'll be right back okay I did find this um, wet and wild um, the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana, you know, you can't find this anywhere anymore. It's so old. Actually, I picked it up years ago because um, Kelly Strack loved this. And I will tell you this, this is, this is a bronzer. It says it's a bronzer. You see that? I'm not lying. It says it's a bronzer. Girl, does this look like a bronzer to you? I don't know. Okay, smells like nothing, thank God. So let me just look underneath my eyes. I'm not crazy about this concealer, although I will tell you it could be because I'm tired. Could be. I'm going to just take like this little um, Angie Hot and Flashy 506 brush, tapping it lightly, lightly, and just going in super light. Okay, that's pretty. All right, it is pretty. It is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let me just finish off the under eyes real quick. Before I get there, you know what? Let's use this Let's use this highlighter, this one right over here. Let's put it in the inner corner because it is so pretty. But it's a smell. Oh, my God. It smells. Ugh, it smells. You know what it smells like? It smells like. Look how pretty, though. Look how beautiful. It smells like um, a sweet tart, which is fine. I love sweet tarts. I love candy. But, girl, not on my face. Mm -mm, not on my face. Okay, I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to go in with this antique bronze because I really like a shimmer under my eye. Okay, so that's pretty though, right? That looks so nice. Okay, thank you, thank you very, very much. Okay, girl, we're getting down to the nitty gritty and it makes me nervous. I will tell you, this is not this that old. This is the Pixie by Petra Large Lash Mascara. Now, I picked this up last year i guess because um while i was watching wayne goss he kept on saying this is a great mascara this is a really great mascara i'm like boo boo what are you talking about i have to have it so i did pick it up it is great the wand is gargantuous so you know i have a little trouble with it underneath my eye you can't even hear you know when you hear that nothing hardly anything so here's what it looks like right over here wish me luck I could tell it's dry. Obviously, it's dried out. But it is one of my older mascaras. I mean, it's cute. 
It's all right. Time to let it go, girl. Let it go. Okay, that's about it. So all I'm going to get out of this one. So that is it. So that's the mascara. Thank God. Step away. I'm so scared. Um, oh, you know what? I found another eyeliner. This is the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Eyeliner. Let's see if this one works. And what is this one? Is in black. See it? This is, this is, oh, shish kabibble. Even this one. It is so chocolatey chocolate and it's skipping. Let's just try it, shall we? Oh, geez, guys. Let's try. I'm going to just tight line a little bit. Um, I mean, a little bit. Yeah, these are old, girl. First of all, they're not budging. They don't even they don't even come off anymore. It's got that white cast on it. And second of all, girl, I don't wear black. I haven't worn black in such a long time ish. I think I wore them like for the holidays. Ooh, I gotta tell you the truth. I kind of like this. I may have to go repurchase it. They're nice and stiff. I like it. Mmm. Okay, you know what? It, so far, so good. It's not that bad, right? We didn't do we didn't do such a bad job. Now, this lip liner. This is the now. This is not the original girl but close enough this is the bobby brown crayon lip pencil in cocoa i used to love 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 this is probably like in the 90s you know girl that brown because again when was the last time you saw me wear brown look at that i take that back other than i fell in love with the iconic nude but that's neither here nor there i repurchased this i swear i had a stub like this big I'm like, girl, you have to go pick it up. Love, love, used to love this lip liner. So that is what we're going to use. This has to be, geez, at least five plus years old-ish. Okay, it's still super de duper pretty though, right? Took me a minute to get it started. I'm going to just... Blend it in my lips. Okay, it's pretty though. It is pretty. Okay. Now that I'm grabbing this, I don't even know if it's still available. That's how old it is. This is the Bobbi Brown Creamy Lip Color in Crystal Pink. I don't even know if they still make this. It's beautiful. Oh my God, it's so nice. I used to love this color. Look at that shine right up my alley even back then god this has to be 10 years old i don't even know if they make it anymore darn it but i used to love this lipstick let me just show you how beautiful it is mm -hmm. even though my lips are chapped look how beautiful damn i hope you're still available it is so creamy still Smells like nothing, so it's still good. It's still good after 10 years. It smells like nothing. Because let me tell you something. I've gotten some lipsticks recently within the past like year or two that smelled rancid within six months. Within six months, I was like, it's brand new. This doesn't smell at all. That is friggin' beautiful. That is so, so nice. My God, I hope and pray it's still on her website or somewhere. You can get it somewhere. Amazon, I have no idea. Okay, and then last but not least is this Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Now, girl, it's beautiful. I don't think I ever used it. I bought it because Allie Glines could not stop talking about it, girl, I have to have it. Now, you guys know that um, Farsali, like, they closed down production or they closed down back in 2020. So, when, so it's got to be at least three years, and I picked up before that, maybe four. I don't know. Let's just try it. I'm scared. Let me just spray it. Okay. I don't know why everything smells like vinegar. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Ugh. Phew. Okay. That smells so freaking bad. But I did it anyway. Okay, I'm not going to lie, though. 
Everything looks kind of nice though, doesn't it? Oh my, I think it looks so good. These lips, my God, I'm going to go back as soon as I'll, I'll leave you information below. I pray that they still have that lipstick. The lips look beautiful. The eyes are really, really pretty. Um, the foundation looks horrendous. It looks so patchy and disgusting. The eyes are cute though. The eyes look so super cute. And I'm kind of digging these eyebrows. I'm kind of digging these eyebrows, but I'm not going to lie. I have to wash this off because it's making me nervous. P.S. I really love this blush too. Mm, 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 mm. So that is it, guys. This is my video on full face of old makeup. What do you guys think? I think it looks so pretty, though. I think it came out really, really nice. I can't wait to take it off. I'm not going to lie. Please leave me some comments down below of what is your oldest product. Do you still use it? Why are you holding on to it? I'm going to have to start decluttering. Mm, I'm going to have to do a declutter. But anyway, so that is it. This is my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys, be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye. Thank you.